Chapter 4 Messenger of Peace of uh, Gems of Life Peace is a beautiful word. Everybody would like to live in peace because peace gives us prosperity and tranquility. Let us see what is peace. Peace is a calm state of mind which can be cultivated consciously. To have peace, we should have a noble vision of life. That is why Swami Vivekananda advises his followers, change your attitude. Then you can see peace and virtue in everybody and everything that you see. To have a change of attitude, there should be a willingness to learn. To accept what is correct and to reject what is wrong. Lives of great people teach us that to live in peace, we should have a selfless love. Selfishness, on the other hand, sows the seeds of disunity and disruption among individuals, groups and nations. Jesus Christ has put the secret of peace as love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you and pray for those who persecute you. It may not be easy, but life of great people shows us that it is not impossible. On a cold February night, Chris Williams and his family was traveling by a car. His car was hit by a 17-year-old drunken driver. To his shock, he found that his 11-year-old son, 9-year-old daughter and his pregnant wife lost their life in that accident. He was in terrible pain unable to move his finger to turn off the engine of the car. Even before he was rescued, a thought, a thought came to his mind. Irrespective of the circumstances, whoever has done it, I forgive him. Later, he established contact with his family's killer and his family and forgive him from his heart. Today, Chris Williams is a motivational speaker, sharing his incredible story of mercy and kindness, inspiring many to follow. And he did not allow the hurt feeling to define him. Finding peace in the midst of shocking incidents of life is hard. As long as it hurts and the feelings are fondled, the hurt feeling persists and our mind is against peace. A psychologist point out, if you allow the negative feelings to crowd out the positive feelings, you will be swallowed by your hurt feelings. But if we enter generally into the life of someone, we will be able to replace the hurt feeling with a soothing love. When there is unpleasant things occur in our life, rather than encourage the negative feeling, if we count our blessings, we will be able to find peace. Another important thing is that there is no life without crisis. When a crisis occurs in our life, it also teaches us how to overcome it and gives us strength. When there is a crisis in others' life, 
it gives us a chance to become peacemakers by extending a helping hand towards them. Forgiveness is a virtue by which people can experience peace. On 13th May 1981, Pope John Paul II was fired at by Mahmud Ali Aka. An assassination attempt was made on his life. Two bullets struck his intestine, one struck his right arm and one hit his left finger. Two bystanders were also injured. Despite a heavy blood loss, the pontiff was saved. Mahmud Ali Aka was arrested and he was sentenced to life imprisonment by Italian court. Pope John Paul II asked the Catholic Church to pray for Mahmud Ali, whom he has forgiven sincerely. An Italian court sentenced Ali to life imprisonment. In 1983, Pontiff visited Mahmud Ali Aka in prison. After a brief conversation, they emerged as friends. Pope remained in touch with Ali's family during his incarceration. The UN celebrates International Peace Day on 21st September. UN defines the culture of peace as a set of values, modes of behavior and ways of life aimed at rejecting violence, preventing conflicts by tackling the root cause through dialogue among individuals, groups and nations. Peace is not the absence of war, but it is a mindset promoting kindness and justice. Saint Kuriakos want to build a culture of peaceful coexistence. The society at his time was divided in the name of uh, caste and creed. He opened many educational institutions that welcomed students of all castes and creed. He used to remind people that family is the cornerstone of our civilization. If, if the family is not united, it will bring social and economical ruin on them. He also advised family members not to knock at the door of the court against each other. A peaceful family is the need of our generation. Let us pray the prayer of peace of Saint Francis Assisi. Let us reflect on how can we become messenger of peace in our society. Thank you.